I feel yeah, I feel like there's really been like a broadening of um, for me um, how I look at work and, and and starting to turn off that that critic and just to create like the throw and it's something that I and maybe because I read the book first and so I felt like she crystallized a lot of ideas in the book that I was kind of thinking of and I kind of had that thought of you know, throw something out there, like you can't just make something out of nothing, you know, like you, you throw something out there and then you have something to kind of play with and work with, and that to me is the uh, the best part of the process, it's not so much the making, it's, it's once you have like a good chunk and then you can really start to see what it's becoming, but, and even though I, I, I knew that I came to that con conclusion on my own, this is reinforcing it, I'm actually being able to put it into practice now, mm -hmm. and, and, and seeing it firsthand and reinforcing those ideas I had, so that's, that's really great. You asked um, if we are more clear about what our choreographic process may be because of her. And I feel like I'm, I'm not necessarily getting more clear yet on what my choreographic process is, but I'm getting clear on the, um, in terms of Man. Like understanding that the way that she approaches things is uh, very useful for me, and I think getting clear in the head about it also probably being useful for any dance maker. Um, so I guess in that way, yes, I feel like it help. It's helping me to be to come closer to my own choreographic mind. It feels like uh, like last night, la last night and yesterday afternoon that it was just like how do you how do you reflect what is going on because when we're in there it feels like I mean it's dense with like thinking and we're all we're all really t like investing and in doing the tasks to the best of our ability and it's kind of awesome what's happening I think but then to try and reflect it. Just felt like, yeah, I don't know. Anybody else feel like that? Yes. Yeah. Well, I think it would have yeah. taken a very special kind of introduction to be able to introduce what we've even been doing. I don't think people got a sense of what we've yeah. been doing. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I mean, was, I'm not, not to be negative about it, but I feel like what but, we've been doing has been so dense, and the assignments have been complicated. I mean, but we've made them more complicated sometimes than they are, or they, they're so open-ended sometimes, yeah. but still specific that I think we have ourselves complicated sure. things with our own ideas. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, I just brought two it. weeks of material in two hours, and it was like hard to go through. Obviously. But I just bring that up because I think even in this moment, trying to express is really difficult, actually. It's, it's making a difference. But talking about it is something that Susan's really gotten good at, you know? I wouldn't say that I could, could I wouldn't say that I would be that great at it. And I think it's awesome because we do, like, what Susan says that we do, which is to, like, churn over everything. And as dancers, a lot, a lot of, Dancers I see making that same choice to like ask so many questions and ask why so much before you even try attempt yeah. to you know just pick up a toothbrush and brush and brush back and forth you know? or like move it. It was awesome. I was like that. It's like it's like the way that children's imaginations are much more readily available or something. They have that tool. Well, that's such a life thing too. Like I've been feeling just in like my personal life that. I've just been noticing on so many levels that the sensation of that before I move forward or act, everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be in this thing. And so I get so in my head and it's like, okay, I can't, you know, work on this assignment at my desk unless, you know, everything's, you know, set or like the wash is done and just like, so I can like focus on this thing, like creating the perfect environment, like from relationships, like it's got all the pieces it's got to fit for me to really be best in this relationship where I've got to, um, you know, making a choice about a school or something like that, like everything has to be fitting in the right place in order for me to say yes. But to understand and to realize 
that the, the answers uh, become happen and do it. That's that's where you get your that's where you get your answer from. And again, it's something that that makes sense for me up here. I can be like, oh yeah, yeah, maybe it's blah, blah, blah. why should I do that? I should do that. But do I? No. But uh, but it's nice and this I feel like I'm putting it into practice on some level, mm -hmm. which hopefully will carry on with others. Just reflecting on what Lindsay was talking about, I think that um, there's kind of like a like the the group of people who are choreographers are is like highly highly self selected. Like you have to fight to be to like be in this field, right? So it's like the the re the, the the people who the people who get weeded out are the people who care a lot about it, and so then that, that's so if, if if it's easy for you to just do it and not ask why, maybe it also doesn't have the same like hooks into you, you know, and it doesn't actually catch you because so, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I don't, I don't care why, and I, or, or it, I don't have to ask why, but I also don't have to do it either. Like I can do something else. Whereas, and, and so I think it is interesting that, that you have to go to the, this group of people who the, the choreographic hooks are like really hooked into them. And it really matters a lot to them. And then you have to have both those people with that interest and that, you know, dedication and the lightness of touch, the, the light-handedness and the, um, the just letting and the allowance that, that Susan um, is reminding us. Um, that's it. Yeah, because I think that we do. The weeding out the isn't because they care too much. <laughs> it's something else. But I do see it, that there could be a pattern there that it's like, oh, well, we care too much. But um, because then there's just this like I just do what I need to do, do attitude, and then that I see that as a thread in a lot of um, working choreographers. That's true. And I think that's misunderstood. Just the same as I think. You want to do it so much and you get weeded out, which makes you think that trying too hard is not good, is misunderstood too. I don't know what, I mean, I don't know what that answer is, but I do tend to notice that. And it's, it's, it's very interesting about Susan, isn't it, that she, that she's not only invested in what she's thinking in all these moments, or seems to be, but invested in being like a human and that she's so completely relatable. Do you feel that way, that she just... Yeah, she's your, she's you know this is gonna sound stupid, but like she's just like your girl. She's just in, in there and she'll notice everything that's going on and she responds to it. Not as a choreographer necessarily. Like when we're all sitting and we're ourselves, not our choreographer selves necessarily, or we're talking about something or some idiosyncrasies come out and she responds to it like with with such. Humanity. Humanity. Is that a good way to put it? Yeah. She's like not like a lot of people that I've met in her position. Mm -hmm. So I really think that, that, that that's an amazing thing that we are experiencing. Mm -hmm. I just feel it's really lucky to, to just have this time. Yeah. Like every day. I, know. I mean, it's grueling to some points. Like, like at the end of last week, I was really feeling it. I mean, like, I just felt, like, mentally just drained, just really out of it, and being, you know, like, I want a day off, I want to take off right now, I'm going to think about these things. And so, where it's grueling, but it's also, you know, it, it keeps it, it keeps it going, it keeps it, you know, I mean, anything hard is worth doing, so, you know, you kind of, like, just dig in and keep going. And, you know, I think the things that we're going to learn from just every day doing that. It's like exercising the muscle. You know, it's so funny how exhausted I am after I leave here. And then I have to go usually to work. Well, this week I have off the whole week, which is really nice. But because it's not like we're like constantly moving, but we're constantly thinking. And I just like, by like 9 o'clock, I just feel like wiped out. And like, I'm like, how can I do this all over again? But then I feel good in the morning. <laughs>